Hello my gorgeous friends on the internet, how you are doing? Okay, uh, welcome to another exciting tutorial. So today we'll be looking at how we can integrate live, si live chat support into our Flutter application. I know it's very easy. Uh, so the reason why I'm creating this video is because I don't want you guys to be like me. Uh, because uh, before I found the solution, I've been using so many stuff, so many platforms, and most of them I, that I saw online were not really free. And I think one time I did one for a client and I actually opted uh, into using Firebase. And so I used Firebase to create the chat system and other stuff. And I also use Cloud fun Function to be triggering notification to the agent that will be uh, answering those questions. But it's more like uh, it's like it started uh, incurring more cost on their end because, you know, Cloud fun Function, you have to upgrade to Blaze Plan before you can use it. So the client actually reached out to me and to actually look for a better solution instead of them paying much. So uh, I did some search online. <laughs> yeah. So I was able to come up with a solution and it's called talk.to. So talk is actually a free uh, live chat uh, platform that helps us to, once you integrate it to your app or website, your customers will be able to uh, chat with you and you will get real time, they will get real time feedback, real time response and everything. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm not uh, a partner of talk.to i don't know these developers i just saw their platform online and i decided to give it a try and it was awesome so i decided also to make a video tutorial around it to help you guys out there so that you won't be like me searching for different solutions okay so uh, one exciting thing about talk.to is that like it's completely free so you don't have to pay for anything so you can see you can actually uh, integrate it into your app your website and everything so i think the uh, developer portal talks more on js integrating it into your web all right but i'm going to show you how to integrate it into your flutter application seem easily so the first thing you want to do is to sign up so i've already signed up i have an account so the sign up process is just straightforward okay so since i already have an account i've already signed in and once you sign up uh, to take it directly to the portal so so far i have zero visitors zero chat it's just a fresh account okay so uh this is it for talk i won't be going in depth into the dashboard so i'll just allow you guys to explore and do your stuff but i'm just going to show you how to integrate it into your app all right so uh the first thing we're going to do now is to actually create the chat button so in your app you can have any button anywhere that will lead them to the chat page right okay so this is just a simple dummy application so i won't be editing anything i'll just have to change the button name and uh, stuff that will navigate into a support page so i just change this icon now so quickly i'm going to create a support page uh, where the users will be chatting all right from so uh you want to make sure that any app you're creating that you want to integrate the chat you should have an account for that very application okay so uh, the first thing you want to do, uh, next thing you want to do is to go to pop.dev and search for Flutter Talk. All right, so it's a new dependency, uh, awesome. Uh, it supports no safety and it works for Android and iOS, okay? So uh, the first thing you want to do next is actually to go to your installing and actually copy this guy. Go to your terminal. Yeah, and we are going to install uh, Flutter Talk, all right? So uh, we won't be going in depth, yeah, like that, because I think this is how it looks on mobile. I think this is the Android view. You can search and your charts can start everything. So uh, the first thing we need, also what we need here is actually our direct chat link. So to get this direct chat link, we'll get it from our talk dashboard, all right? So don't worry about that. I'm going to cover it later. So let's go to example to see how this guy is being integrated. So the first thing you just have a new a few a new page and you have your app bar with the name and you have your talk widgets and everything is being integrated awesome so i'm just going to copy this guy yeah i'll just grab it real quick then come over here paste it so i think we don't need uh, all this guy so i'll just change this guy now to uh support page like so and once we do that, remove your material app. We don't need it because it's already called in main dot that. All right. So what we need to do now is actually to navigate the user to this page once they click on support button. All right. So the button can be anything. Yeah. So what we're just gonna do is just going to use our navigator. Yeah. Dot push. Uh, yeah. That's all we need to do for this particular page. And then the next thing now we need to do is to uh, get uh, the talk 
flutter talk we are going to change this guy now to maybe our app name so it can be any app let's say blocker support yeah it can be anything all right and then uh, you can change the color of your app bar to just match the way your app looks and then we have a direct chat link that needs to be here and then the name of the user so i don't know there's a way you can actually retrieve the name of the user so i think the name might be stored in database or whatever way maybe your api your backend developer will return the name of the current user that is logged in into your app so you want to actually pass in the name so let me just use john doe okay like so and uh, you can change the name if you want the email as well so to match the name of your the person that is chatting okay so it would be best to just know what is going on all right so once we get that uh, i think that's pretty much everything we need but so i'm going to kill because it's a plugin so i've just killed this app and we run it again so while i'm running it i need to quickly grab uh the direct chat your direct chat link which is required for this chat to work okay so you go to your developer portal which is your dashboard and i don't know where i used to get that stuff before all right so i will go to administrator okay i think it should be around here somewhere around here uh, this is your javascript key and uh, this is your ticket forwarding id property url property id and this is your property name uh, let's see chat widgets Okay, once you go to chat widget, uh, you will see your direct chat link. So if you are for the web, you can copy this guy and put it in your website. It uses JavaScript. and But for mobile, just grab this direct chat link. Okay, copy this guy. Yeah, awesome. So once you copy that, I think that's pretty much all we need. You can actually perform some settings and all those things here. Okay, so once you get your chat, direct chat link, uh, you go to your app. So we are going to replace this guy here now okay uh once you get that guy so i think our chat now will work so uh, make sure you're connected to the internet because it uses internet okay so uh once you do they don't worry there's no additional setup for android or ios it will just work like that so click on it uh, to show you loading which is this placeholder here that is showing loading and i think after i okay so we are not getting any response here okay nothing is happening i think i'll just do a hot restart uh, to see this in action and then i will click on it again yeah so we got some error uh which is cast error so i think we just leave that error let me do a restart again uh it's kind of a web view widget so let's go back uh to the page okay think this is now really platform exception blah 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 instance of ns error so i think uh, this is more like uh, an error which maybe now uh, we can kill the app and then run it one more time again to be sure that everything works fine but you can see the ui how it looks but currently now it's not really matching the our app color because it's green and green is not the color of our application we can actually change it to match the color of our application so to do that let me just copy the amber color which is this hair code so just grab it okay and once you grab it just go to your dashboard and you can see where we have this widget color that is green so click on advanced once you click on advanced you have the liberty to actually set everything here so inside here we are going to change the header to match this color it's very it's pretty much easy once you do that you save that and you also change the agent color as well so we're just trying to change everything now from green to amber right yeah so it works you can see how it looks uh yeah so everything works fine so you save it once it's saved uh, we go back to our app and right here now i'm going to go back to the support page and uh, give it some few seconds yep you can see the color has changed uh, based on what we changed it to so it's no more green so from here now you can see the name blocker support which is this guy and the visitor which is john doe so if we search start new conversation now and it's going to show like this so we can actually type in something let's say hello world and uh, there should be a notification yeah 
whatever the admin wherever the admin is you'll be receiving the notification yeah so that's why that guy is ringing so if you go to your dashboard now okay so you can see this guy is ringing so we have an uh, incoming call from john doe blocker so once you click on it yeah the, the message will stop so you can see hello world so we need to join so you can join with your name so since i'm destiny ed i will just have to join and once i join this ui is going to change you can see destiny ed has joined so from here now i can actually send a message to reply the user hi hi john yeah Yeah, and this works and John we actually receive the notification instantly uh, how are you so you just want to like request something so this is just how it works and you can see as John is typing is actually showing on the dashboard you can see what John is typing is actually showing real time so you can actually send it and uh, John will receive it here you can send the message back and you also receive it here so this is how it works very simple very easy and if you want to end the call so can just come here and say end this chat section yeah and uh, end chat everything goes back to normal and uh, yeah the chat will be ended visitor ended this chat so that's just how it works and uh, you might be wondering since it's the same device how come because you have the same name that's why i said that you're going to fetch this name from your database uh, whatever you're storing the user's the name and pass it to look like a new chat okay so this is pretty much all I want you guys to see. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Yeah.